Hey guys, official phone rebel here. You don't know how many times I redid the intro because I kept saying everything Apple Pro. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get the new OnePlus 3 unboxed. So I've heard a lot of good things about this phone and I'm very excited to uh, get my hands on it and take a look. So an affordable $400 smartphone that can pretty much do everything that a more expensive one can, but without the price tag. So uh, very nice choice of packaging, efficient I'd say. All right, so here is the packaging for it. Wow, reminds me of Apple. And let me turn this down a little bit. So it's very clean, very white. Huh, I like the red up here. It looks good. So, I mean, this is a larger version of the iPhone packaging basically. And right here, I've got my case, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. So uh, again, so one side down. All right, so let's get this guy out of here. Oh man, I see they have the issue that Apple does too. It's very, very hard to get this thing down. All right, I like the matte feeling of the box. It looks really, really good. All right, and here is that phone. So, wow, this thing is very, very slim. That looks great, wow. Wow, so this thing has dual SIM cards, a regular and a nano SIM. Hmm, very interesting. At least I think that's what that says. All right, so the camera does protrude as does almost every single one on smartphones nowadays. It comes with a built-in screen protector. That's something I loved on the OnePlus X. Very, very good looking phone for sure. So I'm gonna pull that off and let's power it on. So I love hardware design. I love when manufacturers do unique things. And although this doesn't stray too far from the path, antenna bands on the back, speaker ports very similar to Apple's and uh, USB-C, the future right here. But hey, what's that? Take note, Apple, there is a headphone jack. But all right, looks very good. There is the boot up menu. So if you guys wanna see a full comparison of this to the iPhone, I'll probably have one up tomorrow on my main channel. While that's booting up, let's take a look inside. So some sort of documents in here. Oh, wow, very, very nice SIM tool. So we've got a quick start guide and stickers. Never settle. Very nice. So Apple packaging on the next level. All right, and what else do we have? Whoa, so a massive power adapter right here. Now, honestly, I don't even know much about this phone. I try to limit my exposure to it. So uh, when I do review it, it's gonna be the real deal. Very nice cable too. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and uh, I'll be back. Man, I've just been using this thing for a couple minutes and I love it. It is so refined. The buttons right here just have one tiny little icon to let you know that they're working. Um, I love the tap to wake. That's awesome, I mean, very, very well done. Very, very impressed by this guy. I'll be doing a full review. The hardware, you know, it's fantastic. It's very, very thin. Feels like a very solid phone. I don't believe this thing is running a skin. It actually looks like the real deal. So uh, this thing will be getting Android N later. But yeah, don't quote me on that, guys. I'm not very familiar with this phone, but it does look great. Hey, not bad. It's very, very slim, keeps the profile of the phone. For a phone that's $400, I'm very surprised by the materials and just the overall the overall product. I'm very good, very good first impressions. Then again, I haven't used it, but yeah, we'll have to see. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for uh, the review coming on my main channel. Peace.